Boris. Bulgang, Bulgang. Bulgang in your chart. Cross watching. Divinely guided. As you can see, your girl's nearly tapped out. Your girl's been drinking a little bit of wine. Went to the cinemas. Virgo was a little bit long. <coughs> Using my voice. Then I jumped on TikTok. And then I jumped on Insta. So your girl's been doing a lot. It's now 11 minutes past 8 in the morning. We're going to keep it low. And Mello. Is Casey still sleeping? Wow, go on, Bulgang. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As we take it away from the coke that's over there. There we go. It's better. Advertising coke for them. They're not paying me. Well, go on. You got up in time. Stalkers are watching some of you, not everyone. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Please don't it fit. Some of you are being gang stalked. In your private life and in the public arena. Some of you are on social media and you are being gang stalked. But it says these people are going to pay for the shit that they are doing or have done or have started. Period. As one of the readers would say, period, point, blank. With the justice card. So I just see people paying for the evil that they do is going to be repaid back to them. Welcome, welcome. Just started, young gang. We just getting started. Welcome, bull gang. We're going to keep it low. Hope you all can hear me. <coughs> I can hear the rain. There's a downpour of rain. It's so cleansing. So I feel like some of you have been crying. Cleansing away all of the pain. Washing it away with your tears. Go on, go on. I feel like some of you have been going through healing. Not that everyday healing, but that deep, deep soul healing. You're healing your ancestors' wounds, breaking those chains back to you. I can feel some of you lots of pain. Your frustration. The same people that you try to help and you heal, they're fighting against you. They're ganging up on you. They're telling lies. The same people that you tried to help start their business, they've turned on you. They started to compete against you. Tell lies about your business. Birds of a feather, Australia. Prayers going out to you are flocking together. Misery loves company. So they found each other because they don't seem to like you. Did I say it? So you can see it's in this time they're wearing a mask. So this is recently. This is not, this is not yesterday. This is now. This is now. So there's some people that's really think they're in competition with you. My condolences, angel baby. My condolences, gang gang. I'm sorry for the passing of your dad. I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. So I'm just here to tell you, you see these same people that try to say that they don't like you. I don't like you, Taurus. I'm never gonna chat to you. I hate you, spreading your name, all of these things. They cannot stop watching you, bruv. And some of them have Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries in their chart. 
they can't stop watching you. Like, they can't look. Let's see what Taurus is doing. Let's see what Taurus is doing. <laughs> so I think you lot's got a fan. Is it? Aries mum. Yeah, I think she's your fan. I think you lot have got a mini fan right here. Stalkerish. <laughs> Someone stalking your page. Stalking your social media. And they don't like you. They don't like you, gang gang. They're part of those people that ganged up that do, that's doing things. They're the ones. So they're watching you. Someone's watching your every move. Listen, you know I'm not lying. You're a notification. You're a notification. The notification bell. <laughs> it just went off. So she's checking it because it went off. Got you a notification, bruv. She wants to know what you're posting. Are you going to be speaking about my business, she says. Are you going to be exposing something? Someone's scared you're going to expose something here. Someone's scared you're going to expose something here. She's like, oh my God, what is Taurus going to say today? So there's some people that are scared about what you're about to expose. So they're checking up on your internet, on what you post, on your content, on your YouTube, if you've got YouTube. See, my voice is gone. It's not going. It's since I hit live. So someone doesn't want someone to speak here. Someone doesn't want someone to speak. So they are fighting against them. They are creating bound. They are creating obstacles in your way. And this is in your work life. So if you found that you've found obstacles erected, someone could be behind it. Because do you know why? This person, this person knows magic. They know magic. So they're waiting for your downfall. Like, is it working? Is what I did working? So I feel like someone's waiting to see is what they did is working on you. So there's an element of someone doing some type of witchery, spell work, and waiting for it to happen. Because she, she can do magic here. So someone is actually either speaking it or doing it against you here. And they're just waiting. Every day they're checking. Every day they get up and check and they check and they check and they check. So someone's trying to seal the deal. Not just by ganging up and coming on your page and talking rubbish or whatever they're doing. Or coming to your house or talking to neighbours and friends and family. They're also doing some type of magic here. Yeah. Whether it's just an evil eye, but it's more than an evil eye. She's doing magic. She's doing spell work. And she's just waiting to see because she's the Virgo. She's patient. She's waiting to see. So she's committed herself to something or he's committed himself to something because there's no gender in tarot and it is something kind, kind of sinister. Look at them. They've got a dark nature about them. So this person is not light. This person is dark literally and they're kind of empathic so i feel like this is could be another tarot reader could be tarot reader on tarot reader like psychic on psychic healer on healer but it's like powers for powers you knew it yeah but you know what it's going to be revealed because god's watching always watching you can see because your back is turned you can't even see this your love and light, your dark and light here, embracing both energies. And here's someone. Look at them. But the card that I love the most, it says, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. It won't work. It says it won't work. It's been intercepted. It's been redirected. So it ain't going to work. It says justice is going to be served. 
served on those that were doing things they should never have been doing, that's tainted their souls, that's blackened their souls. For someone's soul to be this dark, do you know what she's waiting to happen to you? Do you understand? Someone's mum, your mum, your friend, your partner, that person that you hurt that just can't get over it. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what Taurus needs to know as you put all this energy on my shoulders. What does Taurus need to know? I was having fun in Virgo, and now I've got to come and defend my babies. I've got to come and defend my babies. Thank you, Stephanie. Can we get some likes, subscribes, and share? We got 104 in the house, and we only have 39 likes. His mom, your name is Heaven. You're blessed. The card that turned over is the Two of Swords. So it says you are in the Two of Swords energy. You're kind of not believing in yourself or your spirit. One, 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 one. So you are in the Two of Swords energy. I don't know if it's outside influence or if it's just you because of what's going on. You're sort of second guessing yourself or your gifts right now. And someone's low in spirits here. You're so tired. And I can feel it, Christine. Christine, I can literally feel it. Like, she don't know which way to, she don't know what to believe. Like, she knows, she knows deep down she's a high priestess. But everywhere she turns, every bloody where she turns, this, 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 tender she ain't shit, her life ain't shit, his life ain't shit. So I feel like it's your situation, <laughs> situation has got you feeling like, unsure about who you are, who you're called to be, who you're meant to be. Because I feel like you're just thinking, why am I always the one that's always getting a fight? I'm always getting a fight. So it's got you feeling like you weren't, you, you're not called, you're not the one, but you are. It's saying you're not trusting your intuition. So some people are just sitting down because they're tired. Like she's tired. She doesn't want to make no decisions here. She's tired. that leave you to fight amongst yourselves. I'm not ever gonna fight with you no more. Fight amongst yourselves. You're tired of fighting, is what I feel. I've got a weight on my shoulders. Someone's just sick of being sick. Like, I'm sick of tired, Dad. I'm sick and tired. So they can fight amongst themselves, but I ain't entertaining it. So she's just sitting on the shelf right now, like, I'm not in it. A lot of people are just focusing on their business on their finances, trying to make it grow. Really keeping themselves to themselves. So I see Taurus just keeping themselves to themselves, trying to find ways to make money. Just trying to find ways to make money in this period because you know, it's hard. Some of you have been laid off, so you started a business and now you're just finding ways to make this money out here. You're just staying guarded. You're keeping your energy to yourself. You're like, Diana, I'm not in it. All they ever do, like, they just fight. They fight against me, they argue against me. So I'm gonna stay over here in my own space, doing my own thing. So I just see you doing your own thing. Like, literally, you disconnected. What does Taurus need to know? Opportunities are coming to you. And I feel like it's been a long time coming for some of you. And it is in your business. Literally, look at this. Investors, someone is watching you as well. So it's not just a stalker watching you. A lot of people are watching you. Someone's watching you work. They like what you do. You could be on the internet. Somebody's on YouTube here. You are going to get someone. Someone wants you to promote their brand. Like she wants you to promote her brand here. So I see you doing a video for her brand. So I see someone getting promoted or having to do promotions. That's a lot of money. So I do see it, gang, gang. Can we get your like, subscribe, and your shares, please? So my channel can grow. Thank you, gang, gang. Thank you. What does Taurus need to know? But we know that stalkers are watching you. Some of you have gang stalkers, but it says justice is gonna be served. 
and these people are going to get what they deserve. They're going to pay because they started something that they can't finish. <laughs> with you, with the Hierophant, they started something with you. Like I said, these people have been fighting you, starting with you, the blood clot. <laughs> Like with you, Nene. How dare they? Huh? How dare they? What does Taurus need to know? Huh? Every day, people have just got your name in their mouth. Huh? Look. That's your name in their mouth. Every goddamn day they're talking about you. Even with the mask on. They're communicating. And you're standing here by yourself like, come, I wish a bitch would. This is... <laughs> Taurus is my gang. Taurus is here. I wish a bitch would. You don't have to come together because you can't face me by yourself. They can't. They can't. So they gang up. They gang up. You know that's right. Facts. Period. Period, bruv. Listen. Taurus is like, I wish a bitch would. Come on. Which one of you are coming now? You bitch, you cunt. Which one? Which one? I love it. Come on. I'm by myself. One man up. Come on. Taurus is ready. And she's ready with the truth. She's going to use her mouth. They come with sticks. She's going to use her mouth. Her mouth is going to cut them down. 100%. Make them feel small. One man army, gang, gang. With the truth. Because they're full of lies. They're full of shit. Full of shit. You're ready for them. Like, you're ready for them. You're like, Dana, I'm ready for them. I know. I know who they are. I'm ready. I know everything. So they can chat because I know about them. So, like, you're not phased about them. You're like, Dana, I know. I got this. I got this, D. Because I was rolling up my sleeves. She said, no, no, no. I got this. <laughs> I got this. She said, I got this. She's a rebel without a cause. One, one, one. Taurus, gang, gang, gang. What does Taurus need to know? From every which way. Come on. And they still can't come. They still can't come. But someone is... A king of cups wants to love you, gang, gang. Shave up the pom-pom, shave up the beard. Somebody seems to want to turn things around. I think they were cheating behind your back. So I think someone's a lover wants to come home, gang, gang. Seven weeks. Well, someone's coming home. They've been cheating, though. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius may be in their chart. Someone's been speaking to someone else, doing something they shouldn't be doing behind your back, and now they think they can come back to your life. They might try to say, marry me. I'm ready to get married. Someone's going to try and tell you that. Because they realise that Chris Brown, the grass ain't greener on the other side. <laughs> Someone realise it ain't greener, bro. They thought it was, so they went. And then they realized it's not. <laughs> Could have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart. Someone's realizing that, oh my God. <laughs> there you go. They made a big mistake. <laughs> the alarm says, yes, get ready. Someone's coming back. <laughs> we should turn this off. I'm alive. Someone's coming back. They've been waiting to come back. Look, <laughs> they've been trying to find the words, the right words, because you know, they messed up, they fucked up. They're trying to be like, what am I going to tell Taurus that they're going to buy? <laughs> they've been waiting <laughs> for the right moment, divine timing. And I think they found it in Leo season. I'm not lying, look, someone thinks they're going to come back to you. They got the strength now. Someone's strong enough. 
coming with their chest. Could be a Leo, could be a Gemini. <laughs> They're coming. They said, I'm coming to get my soulmate. I'm coming to get my twin flame. The grass is not greener on the other side. <laughs> your stalker is coming. Someone's stalker is your ex. They have been on your page, bruv. You can see them, they might be a Virgo. Where are they gone? They're trying to hide from me, but they can't hide from me. Look, there's your ex. <laughs> Someone's ex can't, can't move on to the next. The grass ain't greener on the other side. <laughs> it's not green again, gang. They fucked up. <laughs> Now they're just finding the strength to come back and claim their true love. <laughs> you, <laughs> you. I want to be a fly on the wall when they come back. <laughs> oh my God. Because Taurus is on their money. Look, Taurus is like, Diana, Diana, Diana. Can't you see what I'm on? Can't you see what I'm on, Diana? <laughs> that can't you see? I'm on my money. I'm on the bag. Like my business is booming. I am not about to pick up this piece of shit. This burdens. I'm not doing it. I'm done with this. It's 10. This means I've completed this cycle. I'm not going back. I'm not. I'm going to push him or her to the side. And I'm going to continue to focus on this. Which is actually making me money. Making me money. So I see you like declining. So I really want to see it because when you do look, recognitions and rewards come to you. You pass the test. Because some of you have been failing the test. You've been believing what that person's been telling you. And every single time, problems, 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 burdens, burdens, burdens. Another child in your house. Another child in the relationship. Like I said, if you want this recognitions and this reward and this success, end it, control, end it. It's done anyway, it's finished. You're dead, relationship's dead. Sleep with a dead person. <laughs> Necrophilia, you lot sleep with dead people. I see you trying to revive a dead person. Not gonna work, <laughs> not gonna work. You got dead weight people, it's holding you back, bruv. I had that. Let go. Throw them overboard. What does Taurus need to know? Some of them are your family and your grown ass kid. What does Taurus need to know? Facts. What does Taurus need to know? Facts. <laughs> Facts, bruv. Facts. Trying to paddle in your little boat with the dead weight. Put the dead weight overboard, is what they said. Because most of them are juggling you anyway. They're wishy washy. That's wishy washy. Sometimes I love you, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I love you, sometimes I don't. You got money? No, I don't. What you got? No, I don't. <laughs> they don't know what they want with you. Wishy washy energy. And God says, well, I will spew you out. Because you're wishy-washy. You're lukewarm. You're insipid. People that don't make decisions are lukewarm. They're kind of dangerous. They will switch on you. They will switch on you. Today, tomorrow. This week, next week. The Queen of Cups speaking to healers and psychics that can see the bullshit that I'm talking about. You can see these people that are wishy-washy with you, with their energies, with their time, with their money. You're giving them your last money and here you come, oh my God, my light's gonna get cut off. They tell you that they're broke, but you see them out there buying stuff. This is your wishy-washy brethren. Your wishy-washy mum, who takes all your money, but when you need her now, where's she there? Where is your dad? So there are people around you that you need to 
throw overboard because they're wishy-washy in your life. Flip-floppers. You know what I mean? Facts. Holding my Tory and babies back because of a label. It labels. It labels. What does Taurus need to know? You lot are heading towards success. So stop letting people hold you back. Look at that. You need a boat to cross there. Are you going to try to take them with you? Because I'm going to show you what you're going to do. The six of wands, six, six of swords. You're going to try and put some people in that boat and sink. Sink. Just when you can see success, here comes Taurus, save a hole. I'm going to save my mom, my dad, my brother. I says, they're all coming with me. I'm going to buy them a car, a house. You know what spirit does? <laughs> it kills that shit. It kills it. You sink. You sink in debt. You sink. You end up losing that deal, that job. Because you're not listening or learning a thing. That you are carrying dead weight in this season. They need to lighten your loads. That ten of one says lighten your load. Put your mum overboard, some of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Put your grown ass kid overboard. Not sorry. Put your best friend in the water and let her drown or let him drown. Not sorry. Some things need to die so your dreams can live. They're killing your dreams, gang gang. They don't have the vision that you have. So they can't go where you're going. Do you understand? Their energy is just holding you back. So you need to look. I can see someone's mother, child. There's no discrimination. Whoever is not in alignment with your vision, because you can see it, you're a visionary. So if they're not in alignment with it, if they're trying to stop it or dilute it, because some people are trying to dilute your vision, which is your truth. Trying to trap you in lies. Wrap you up like Rizla. But you know you're surrounded by backstabbers anyway. That just chat your business and chat shit to you. Because they're just insecure. Because they don't have a vision. They don't have a vision. So they're already trapped. Misery's loving some company here. It's dead weight. Because they're dead people living a dead lie in a dead life. Like I said, it's about what you want. And if you don't think you're going to carry some of these people, because these are people, to me, across these waters to your success. I'm telling you, they're killing your dreams. Day by day, minute by minute, like I said. And it starts mentally when they tell you, are oh, you sure you should do that? Ah. Oh, what are you doing? They're just putting these little nuggets into her head, into his head. Until what? She ain't even getting out of bed. She ain't moving. Her dreams are what? Dead. Dead. Because she listened to it. She listened to it, bruv. They killed her bloody dreams. Her dreams. Her dreams. Her wish. Do you understand? So the message really is to you lot that these backstabbers seem to still be around you. They're yeah, family, friends. And some of them are not even backstabbers. Some of them are just dead weight. They don't have the vision you have. The season that you're going into, they cannot go. Distraction, jealousy, envious, competition. But what I do know is that they're saying that you need to assert yourselves because if you're going to be this leader, and this is the leader of the pack, the King of Swords, he's so unemotional when it comes to his decisions and choices because he knows that a leader cannot put emotions into it. So I feel like you've been called to be separated yourself, be very professional, to set boundaries because where you're going, boundaries is a must and you've got to set them with your families first with your immediate friends and families, the ones you're sleeping with. Because even some of you, the one you're sleeping with, some of you are gonna break up, do you know that? Because your partner is so insecure, I can hear it, yeah? They're so insecure. They don't want you to be great. 
They don't want you to be great. They love you, but they don't want you to be great though. They're insecure. They're insecure. Some of you will have to leave a partner because your partner's vision is smaller than yours, especially for you. The vision you have here for success, somebody's trying to dampen it, dilute it, trying to keep you home and not let you travel further afield. Because someone's success means they've got to travel. They're going to have to move with purpose. Because their destiny is not where they're living. They're going to have to move. And someone's trying to hold you back from this. Like I said, major opportunities lay further afield for some of you. Literally moving across state, across town, and bam. There's the deal of a lifetime. Because where you're living is your blockages. She's got to move. Her success is across the waters there. She can see it right across the waters. There's a deal right there, the perfect one. Like I said, traveling across the waters, for some of us across the world, from the UK to America, from America to the UK to Australia, you have to move somewhere to get that deal that's gonna set you up for a lifetime. And some people are not coming with you and you're trying to hold on to these people, but they're not coming. Your success is going somewhere else. You don't know where God is taking you yet. Wow, like I said, about to blow your mind. You're like, Diana, nothing's not going to happen. My dreams are dead. No, it says your dreams are about to be fulfilled, bruv. So they're not dead. They were held up. They were delayed. Because I hear delays. A lot of delays. A lot of detours. A lot of delays and detours. Because trying to drag dead weight, dead weight, Taurus save a hole. I love you lot, but you're like Virgos, save a hole. You can't, you will drown. In England, there was a boy the other day, God rest his soul. He was a teenage black boy and there was a Caucasian white woman, no race, nothing. I'm just showing you something a white Caucasian woman, she jumped into the River Thames to kill herself. It's on the news, Google it, to kill herself. Now listen to this, he saved her, he's dead. He saved her, he's dead. But she wanted to die though, he wanted her to live. You don't know where God is taking you. Stop wasting time, people. You act like there's time to waste. There's not. Walk in your purpose. You never know whose life you're gonna affect. And that very day he made the ultimate sacrifice, his life. Google it, you'll see it. It was recent, 100%. He's, he's about 19 years old. He can't swim, but he jumped in the River Thames. Couldn't swim to save a woman that wanted to die. She's alive, he's dead. No lawsuit, just tears, just tears. No lawsuit, just tears. It's sad all around, cause she probably still wants to die and he probably wanted to live. The sun card says, you have the ability to manifest abundance in your life, in this Leo energy. Is it in this Leo energy gang gang? No lawsuit. That's you Americans. He's been laid to rest. Laid to rest. But like I said, the sun is out for you lot and the sun grows everything. So spirit says you don't have to stop allowing people and outside influences. And even that pain, cause some of you are still yet to heal. But there is some things yet to gain here. You gotta get back up is what the message is. Really get back up. Fight for your manifestations, for your dreams, because they can be fulfilled. But some of you gotta fight for it. Because I feel like some people are just giving up. You've given in to your pain. Given in to the 
adversity because that was the first card that came up was adversity. You've given into it, like, I'm done. I've got no more fight left in me. Yes, you do. Get back up. Yes, you do. Get back up, man. There's going to be a brighter day. Like, better days are coming and it's brighter. So get back up. What does Taurus need to know? You can do it, gang gang. Like I said, you're the magician and you have the ability to manifest this wealth because it's an empire state of mind that manifests an empire. Do you understand? One that walks by faith and never by sight. So if you're there, laying in your bed I know you're walking by sight but if you're up and manifesting then I know you are walking by sight and your dreams your manifestations are about to come to fruition to fruition in this season because you didn't allow life to beat you you got back up you got back up and you're fighting you are fighting you found a new a new energy to fight you found a superpower. It's like some people was fighting you. You was down for a minute. You got back up and you got back up with superpowers. Superpowers, gang, gang. Literally, you came back harder. But for those that are not getting back up, you are missing out on a lot of opportunities. Literally, while you're focusing on that pain, on those people, you are missing out. You are missing out. Not just on finances, but new love, real love, unconditional love, while you think about what he, she, or they did to you. Let it go so new love can flow. Sometimes you just got to let it go. Someone doesn't want to let go of the idea of what was or what should have been. When really, in reality, something new's coming towards you. If only you could just see it. Do you know it? You know when we just get fixated on something and then we don't see a good thing right there in front of our faces, under our nose? That's happening to someone right now. <laughs> like I said, it's happening to someone right now. Right bloody now. Right, right now. And they're not seeing it. They're not seeing it. They're like, Dana. I'm scared for love because I just got hurt. So what? Someone wants to love you the right way now. They want to. So what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, gang gang? Someone literally wants to give you unconditional love and it's a soulmate, bruv. It's a soulmate. It could even be that person from your past that you're manifesting. Coming in to save a hole, to save a day. There you go, save the day. da 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 da, -da. I'm gonna save Taurus. I'm gonna love Taurus. <laughs> I'm gonna give Taurus unconditional love and put a baby in the oven. I want a baby by Taurus. Eight eight lines gate. See? That da 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 Your night comes in. Cause you're sexy and you know it. But some of you are not standing in your divine feminine power. You're just like shrinking violets. Like, someone hurt me, so I'm just hurt. They hurt me, so I'm just hurt. And you're accepting it. Get back up. Get dressed up. Get dolled up. Men, do what you do. Because someone wants you. Someone else wants you. There's plenty more fish in the sea, gang, gang. Like, I'm not understanding. Cast your net. <laughs> it says flirt. Get out there. Exchange communications. Come on. Get to know some people who know some more people. <laughs> I feel like some people's hearts are broken, but this tells me with the nine, you are almost coming out of this period of brokenness brokenness and it's been a long period for someone like nine years long you've just been living with this label with this pain 
But I feel like you're finding a way out. You're finding a solution, some way to get out of it. So I do see it. And then someone's just, look, divine feminine, divine feminine, divine masculine is healing here. So yeah, literally, I feel like someone was, you could have been going through abuse or something and you just felt weak. And this is divine masculine healing here. So someone's coming into power. Two and a half years, there you go. You're becoming more powerful, standing in purpose. And look, as you become powerful, it's showing, you're glowing. And love is coming. It's coming. And I can see you've been waiting for it. Look at you checking your phone. You're like, ain't he coming yet? Ain't she coming yet? Yes, gang, gang. See them there? Taurus is checking the phone every minute. Like, ain't they coming though? Yes, they are. They are, they are. They are. 40 minutes, Taurus. We're gonna go soon. The glow up is real. What does Taurus need to know? Nice and mellow, gang gang. What does Taurus need to know? Be open to receive love. Love, 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 love. You know love is coming, right? So shave up the pum pum, shave up the beards, because you asked for it. You manifested it. And for some of you, it is actually wealth. Because empire state of mind is here. That means you are going to be the emperor. And some of you have Aries in your chart. I'm okay, Nancy. Thank you. I have a thyroid problem. I'm okay. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? <laughs> Someone from your past is coming back. Someone from your past is coming back. I don't know what that means for you. You might need to go on holiday for a little while. One, one, one. Because someone looks like they abandoned you when you needed them. They rejected you in your time of need. Oh, someone even had a voodoo doll. So I think they think the person that's looking at, oh... Do you remember the Virgo that's watching and waiting for the magic to work? The magic. The magic to work. So they think the magic's worked. So what is it, a love spell then? So I think someone's on a love spell on you and they're waiting for the magic to work. You got a proper stalker, oh my God. They got the good, good. They want you back, oh my God. Get ready for major changes. Someone is trying to resurrect an old relationship and I feel like they went to the graveyard to do it. Someone went to the graveyard to resurrect a relationship you do not want. You could have rejected someone, you could have abandoned... I think you blocked someone. I literally think that some of you are on the run from someone. Be careful, right? Someone's doing magic because they can't get you no other way. They can't. But what you're looking for is looking for you. Whatever that means for you. So some of you are looking for love, it's coming. Finances, that's coming too. What does Taurus need to know? <sighs> abundance, bruv. You're gonna be very happy with this abundance. The Taurus is gonna be happy. Let's cut the deck with abundance. She blocked him on everything because he's a backstabber. Look at that. They're backstabbing her. Come on, they're backstabbers, gang, gang. Call them by the name. And someone's cheating, but they don't want you to move on, though. They cheated, they lied. They left me confused. And this person is going to go and do voodoo on you because now you left them because you want better for yourself. Taurus. I love you. You've put up with abuse for far too long, they said. You lot's been through so much abuse, gang gang. That's why it's weighing so heavy on me. It's like you're coming out of this period of abuse, abuse, and more abuse. You know, the five of wands. Whether it's verbal, emotional, or physical, you've just been going through it, innit? You've been going through it. It says, trust your gut in this season. 
Trust it, all right? When you trust it, yeah, literally you're going to escape death. For someone, you are going to escape death and transform your life. Trust your gut. It saved your life more than once. Do you understand? Trust your damn gut. Some of you have some dangerous people in your life or in your past. Trust your gut. Trust it. It is your fire alarm. Some of you are in the public eye, so you are vulnerable. Trust your gut even more. Tower readers, channelers, psychics, whatever you are. Trust it. They're gang stalking you. They're trying to do certain things. Trust your gut. Move in the spirit, not in the natural. Because this is magic you're dealing with. They said voodoo. So be careful with that. Let's get love. Let's see what else you need to know as we wind it down. And I jump in my bed. What does Taurus need to know? I'm going to jump next to Casey. He's in my bed. Deceptive. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? you always trying to help your friends and shit, yeah? I believe it's your friends that are deceptive. The people that you call friends that are closest to you. Wearing these masks. So some people want to come and pretend that they're helping you and stuff. They're really deceptive. Be careful who you lean on, who you tell your most true secrets to. It's like they're just waiting for you to tell them. Be careful. They're going to stab you in the back. You see, backstabbers. Backstabbers have real information. It's not lies. It's real truth. Like I said, the ones that you tell everything to. Look, the ones you're closest to, bruv. That best friend, that partner. Look, you didn't even notice this person's not really into you. Like I said, it's about the trust, yeah? It's about the trust. Trust your gut. That's all I'm saying is trust your gut. Don't even trust your mum. Trust your gut. Oh, you're getting married, gang, gang. Someone's getting married. Congratulations. Your love life is ascending to weddings, to marriage, gang, gang. You are getting married. A lot of love. You are attracting attention and you are getting engaged first. I like that. So it is ascending to new levels of commitment. Engagement and love. I like it. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? We're going to change the deck. And it's someone from your past. You may not know them in this lifetime, but you've known them before. That's nice. A soulmate. A soulmate. Let's get the chakras. What does the chakra want to say to you? My chakra deck. I haven't used it in a while. Instant buzzing in my ears. Yep. Proposals are pending. Trust me, someone wants to get married here. Jagged Edge. Let's get married. <laughs> Meet them at the altar, gang, gang. In your white dress. <laughs> Even though you shouldn't be wearing white, go wear it anyway. Wear it anyway. Two of coins. I see two streams of income, two ways to make money in this season. So you don't have an excuse. You literally have two ways to make money. But be careful, right? Because I do see a devil, a devil energy, Capricorn energy. Someone who was juggling you or could be still juggling you right now, trying to return to your life. But this person could be in your bed right now, watching me with you. Turn to your right. Is it them? Is it your partner right now? Someone's lying next to someone that's cheating on them. <laughs> Everyone's looking at their partner like. <laughs> I'm so mixed up. But that's what the card says, though. That's what the card says. It didn't say who. <laughs> Use your discernment. Trust your gut. Take what you need and leave the rest, gang, gang. <laughs> leave the rest. I love you too, gang, gang. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, look, you went from two ways to eight ways to make money. So you literally don't have no excuse, Taurus. I've come to whip Taurus into shape because they've got so much creative ideas. Like, they're sitting on themselves. They just don't believe in themselves sometimes. And you've got eight ways. You can make eight streams. Literally, you could be rewarded and recognized for your talent. If you believe in it yourself, though. You have to believe in it. Push through your fears. That's your fears, pushing through it. And if you do, right, money will come to you. You will get the fucking deal of a lifetime. Lifetime, bruv. Push through fears. Push through fears. Just make those judgment calls, because you're not making them. Make them. Stop procrastinating. Just do something. That's just making a judgment call. I'm going to just make it anyway. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. I'm going to learn from it if it's bad. But it says it's going to be good. Oh, my God. There's a walking away from situations and places that no longer serve you. Eight of Cups. But it's also someone walking towards you because they could be walking away from someone else. Remember, the grass is not greener on the other side for a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion. And they think they're going to come back home to mummy or daddy. Daddy's home. Mummy's home to stay. Because they've been manifesting you. Some of them have done a love spell. Others have got a voodoo doll, me at you. Because they cannot be without you. Because your milkshake is bringing the boys and the girls back to your yard. Back to your yard, bruv. So some of you have walked away like Craig David. But some people are moonwalking right back into your life with retrograde. So you're like, yeah, I'm free. And here comes this snake, doing snaky snuff. Oh, wondering why they're jumping into your head. Why am I thinking about the snake? Like I said, someone wants you and only you. They're gonna marry you regardless, like you're theirs. Look, I might have cheated, but Taurus, your minds. I know I cheated, but Taurus, I want to marry you. The grass is not greener on the other side. And literally, it's not a bad thing, because to me, someone's learned a lesson. This is unconditional love. So literally, someone tested the water somewhere else, and now they want to come back to your waters. They made a big mistake. Now, whether you take them back or not, that's totally up to you. But someone is ready to commit here. They made a mistake with someone here. Someone could have cheated on them. Someone could have done to them what they did to you. Karmic, yeah? Karma. Pass. Like I said, I see a lot of you have moved away from this energy completion. With the world card, you're done. Taurus says, nah. Because if you've done it before, you would do it again. You've done it about five times. I let you get away with it one, two, three, four, five already. Nah, I'm not doing it no more. So there's Taurus cutting people off. Yep. And then look what happens. You become rich because that person was your baggage. You passed another test. You are just passing so much tests in this season. Congratulations, Taurus. You have completed the test. You're on to the next ascension. There you go. A fire starter gang gang. Their voodoo doesn't work on you. They're getting frustrated with you. Like, why ain't it working? She keeps checking it. Keeps checking it. And you're out there with man. You're out there with gal. They're like, but why is she calling me? Why ain't he calling me yet? So now they're coming to find you because you're not trying to find them. You're supposed to find them. You're supposed to call them. <laughs> Taurus is out there. Best life. <laughs> Someone's got to come and find you. They got to come find you. It was a Virgo. It was a Virgo on the card. It was a Virgo, gang, gang. So they said it was a Virgo. For some of you, it was a Virgo in their chart. Can't stop watching the internet. 
and what you're doing, what you're doing with your friends, your Snapchat. <laughs> I got commitment issues. Trust. It's going to take trust, gang, gang. I feel like Taurus right now, you don't just got to have to trust in spirit. That spirit has a bigger plan for your life. This card simply means trust God. Doesn't matter what's happening. It's going to work out for your good. It's going to work out. It's not happening to you, but for you. So I don't know what's happening for you, but it says you're going to need to trust God on this one. It's going to take some trust. And you might be homeless right now, and it's going to take some trust, some faith. Because look, literally, the universe, God has your back. But you got to know that though. you got to know it. What do you need to know? Yeah, someone's got commitment issues, bro. Trust issues. S don't stop. And remain positive. So really don't allow that negative voice to speak to you until you sit down on yourself. Keep going. Push through your fears. Push through them. Because it will always improve. It's temporary. And you're making permanent decisions on temporary emotions. So you're going to need to really let go, surrender. Just let it go. You can't control everything. And you cannot, cannot let people love you. You can't let people love you. So you have to let them go. That, that saying comes to mind. If it was meant to be, they'll come back, right? Let things go. That is the way to success. Because like I said, a lot of you are carrying dead weight in this season. And they told you to let things go. So you can be successful. All right? Thank you for staying, Taurus. Thank you, thank you. 227 ball gangs in the building. Trisha, Wagwan, this is your girl. Can we have some more likes? So 100 of you don't like me. None of you don't like me. I got 134 likes. What about the rest of you? You've been watching. Thank you. I love you, gang, gang. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you later. We're going to break fasting on Insta at 6 o'clock. So your girl's going to go to sleep because I can't eat no food. I'm going to drink some lemon and ginger tea for my throat. Let it just serenade my throat and I can lie down with my grandson. I love you lot too. Thank you. This is your girl, D Virgo Tarot. And Casey. Gang, gang. Welcome, America. Two, two. Two, two. Casey's waking up. Gang, gang. I love you. Take care. Take care.